Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a really short character sketch of Ant-Man. And I know that uh, Ant-Man's coming up, so I'm going to shamelessly steal the popularity of the movie and help promote myself. So, anyway, enjoy the process, and uh, as always, thank you guys for visiting, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, okay, so I'm working on tone paper using a Prismacolor Premier Black colored pencil. Uh, my original intention um, was to ink this and go traditionally. However, I didn't realize that urge until after I got way into the sketch and basically, with this type of media, uh, I can't really do that. Um, I can't erase the color pencil, and you know, of course, I could have gone back and resketched it and redone all that. But at the end of the day, I chose to take a photograph of this piece and drag it into uh, an alternate um, uh, rendering program uh, digitally and do it that way. So, uh, yeah, I'm just sketching out, fleshing out the character, learn a little bit about Ant-Man, did some little bit of history on it. It's always good to find out a little bit about the character that you're working on. You know, I, I chuckle about the comment I made in the intro um, about utilizing the popularity of the Ant-Man movie to really promote myself. Uh, there's a, an artist out there, actually there's tons of artists out there, obviously, but one of them really encourages you to do fan art. And fan art is something that I think is sorely ignored by professionals a lot of times because professionals are constantly wanting to develop their own stuff. They're wanting to really get in there and, and develop their own properties and, and do all that. And they really ignore, um, you know, fan art. And I think that if you're interested in expanding who you are as an artist and expanding your brand, you kind of have to, I don't want to say lower your head and do the fan art because fan art is fun. Don't get me wrong. I like doing these characters and it, it really helps you develop your skills as an artist, skills as an artist. And you can basically get a great fan base um, because people in general, uh, they, they're, I don't want to say resilient to change. So if you introduce a character that they've never seen before, even though it might be really cool, they don't have a relationship with it. So what fan art does is it really opens the door because they have a relationship with these characters. You know, they, they watch the movies, they play with the toys, they look at the merchandise, they're constantly barraged by the marketing machine um, that is you know, the Marvel and the Disney marketing machines. So they definitely have a relationship. And, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people are emotionally invested in these characters. Some of them cosplay. So whenever you post a character that is fan-based and you put your spin on it and then you, you tag it with all the appropriate tags on Instagram or, or Twitter or YouTube or one of those, you know, you get fanboys and fangirls that come along and they, they look at this art and they think it's fantastic. And it really opens doors for you to get followers. Now, why do you need followers? Gosh, you know, I, as an older guy, I could really care less whether or not somebody likes my selfie. But I am interested in those companies that are really, really looking for that next level or that next step or that next style um, of their character brands. So. I do Ant-Man um, during the height of the popularity of the movie. You know, I hashtag everything and, and I tag it to where whoever's searching for Ant-Man, maybe an Ant-Man trailer, maybe an Ant-Man toy or, or whatever, and, and that giant Disney marketing machine also kind of does a lot of the legwork for you because they put those, those tags out there um, on the internet and it, it all directs back to the stuff that you do. And it's very sensible as an artist and an illustrator and somebody trying to expand your brand to do this because Disney does and Marvel does a lot of the legwork for you. Um, and that's really cool. So my advice to you, do as much fan art as you can, especially during the height of the popularity of the characters you're working on. 
um, you know, Star Wars, Star Wars movie coming out, Solo, do a bunch of Solo stuff, uh, like Ant-Man's coming out, you know, do some Ant-Man stuff, do some Marvel stuff, hashtag, you know, Avengers, and, and it really opens the door to, you know, somebody finally finding your stuff, whether it's a, a, a high-level executive or a talent scout or somebody just looking for you to do a commission, and suddenly you've got clients knocking at your door. I get questions a lot of times on how do you start a freelance career. Um, there isn't a golden key that opens that door at every single turn, but it's little things like this that build up your brand online that really help. Um, it, it, it's, it's fascinating how far you can go with doing fan art because, like I said, if the companies and the people who own these properties and these characters see what you're doing, maybe it's a next step for them. Anyway, so I'm going to show you guys next the rough sketch in its final and see what you say. Okay, so this is the preliminary rough sketch of my Ant-Man, uh, little Ant-Man illustration that I'm working on. What I'll do now is I'm going to take a, a digital photograph of this and I'll probably drag it into um, either Photoshop or Illustrator or, you know, one of those um, programs to, you know, flesh out the line work. Um, not really anything difficult, just a really simple pose. Uh, today I worked on tone paper with color pencil and I think I spent probably no more than 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes on this. So um, if I do this uh, in Procreate or Photoshop or one of those other programs, I will post the process video, um, or who knows, I might even go ahead and, and do it traditionally. Anyway, um, the next part of the video is that process, so enjoy, and as always, thanks for watching. Bye. I did end up taking a digital photograph and dragging it into Procreate on the iPad Pro. Had a great time on this one. Definitely 
watch other videos that I have on the channel. Like and subscribe if you like what you see, and we'll see you next time. Bye.